Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta. If you're a current subscriber, thank you so much. It means the world to me. It really does help when you hit the subscribe button. Whew. I don't know about you, but I love gourmands. Whew. And now that fall is here, I'm craving different kinds of gourmands. So I wanted to go over some of the top gourmands that I'm pulling out now as the weather's kind of changing a little bit and it's cooling off and it's kind of changing what I'm craving. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for that. Um, and I also have the newest House of Sillage drop, the Minnie Mouse. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Let me start with a few of them that I'm craving lately. Um, let's start with this one. This is EBK Paris. It is the Deep in Desire yacht. I've had this one for, um, gosh, like a year and a half or so now. It's such an incredible, incredible potent gourmand. This one opens like blueberry cake. A lot of people compared it to uh, one umbrella for two because that was a like tea and blueberry muffin kind of fragrance but that one is really kind of timid and doesn't really have any kind of longevity or intensity whereas this does now that is only the first stage it actually goes through three stages after that it turns into like um those Rocher candies that's like a chocolate wafer with like hazelnut cream and hazelnut where you start to get that it's actually great that smells more like blueberry that kind of transitions into this hazelnut cream fragrance and then transitions to this like chocolate oud in the dry down so it's an absolutely amazing experience through all of the stages and has incredible projection and longevity highly recommend this one uh, it's nicknamed Yacht because it's named after the most expensive yacht in the world. I did a whole episode just on this fragrance that really went in depth on it. If you want to know more about it, um, that's, uh, if you go into playlists, you'll see all the different houses where I have all the videos on those houses, as well as um, others like top tens and stuff. But you'll see themes under all the different houses. Just look for the EBK videos and I'll try to link it below. So that is Deep in Desire Yacht. The next one I've really been craving, and this one I really personally enjoy year round, but even more so in the fall. And it is by the Cosmorati collection from Zerjoff, Bouquet Ideale. I just love this one. If you want like an easy reach, always works, um, really comforting kind of fragrance because of that like vanilla musk base, but it also has almost like these mulling spices kind of spice to it. But it's so gentle and so comforting. It's not like a bold spicy fragrance. It's really a comforting one with just a little bit of that fall kind of flavor to it that is just such an easy reach. I love this one, Bouquet Ideale. It's, it's also one of the more reasonably priced Zerjoff collections. So you can find these like around the $100 mark-ish kind of, and they also have a 30 ml, but this one is so easy to like. Another one from Zerjoff that I really prefer in the fall time is Starlight. This is really an almond fragrance, an almond with some warm fall spices in it. It's mostly this almond, vanilla, ambery kind of fragrance. You get a little bit of like cinnamon and cardamom in there also, but it's pretty much that almond, vanilla, amber is what you get. It's such an easy, comforting fragrance that just seems really welcome to me in the fall. And of course, just that Zerja quality, longevity, sillage, all of that. I absolutely love this one, Starlight from Zerjoff. Now when I'm really in an indulgent kind of mood and have like a really rich kind of craving, you really can't beat this gourmand. It's by Narcotica and it's Dolce Diablo. Oof, oof, oh my goodness. This one is so incredibly photorealistic. Like they just nail these really intense flavors where you get Imagine fresh apricot, and I mean off the tree, not the grocery store, where it's really like 
fleshy, juicy peach-like, along with dried apricot, which is a little more intense, dunked in hot chocolate, liquid hot chocolate, and then it's on a plate where there's a little bit of drizzling of like cognac on the plate. That's what this is. Now it's very intense in the beginning. It can be a little sweet for some men, but it tones down. It definitely tones down in the dry down, so it's not this overwhelmingly sweet fragrance the whole haul. But the opening just makes your mouth water. It's it's it, it truly like I've caught myself trying to lick my hand. Like it just triggers this response because it's so photorealistic that you just find your your brain thinking there's food there. It's insane. It's so delicious, and that apricot keeps it fresh and vibrant. It's just, um, yeah, I can't say enough. This is sinfully good, hence the name Sweet Devil. It's just devilishly good. I love this one, Dolce Diablo. One I haven't talked about yet that's newer in my collection is by Paris Monte Carlo. I told you I was gonna go down a rabbit hole with this brand because I was falling in love with them and I truly have. Oh, this one is Coco Aztec. This one is so unique. This one, when you first spray it, Reminds me of a Mexican hot chocolate. I don't know if you've ever had Mexican hot chocolate, but it's not like true hot chocolate. It's actually melted cocoa, like true fresh cocoa. And then it has like some cinnamon and spices in it that just is incredible. So this one opens with, now it has cocoa pod in it, not cocoa or chocolate. So cocoa pod is what you make cocoa from, what you get chocolate from. I actually finally bought that fruit. It's really kind of cool eating it. But so it's more of this dry cocoa kind of scent, not like a chocolate. It's not like dessert chocolate. It has this like dusty cocoa to it along with the spices. And then you get these white florals in there. It's like cocoa with a dash of cardamom and a little bit of like spicy, peppery, like sweet pepper like. And then these white florals come through. It's the most magnificent fragrance that I'm absolutely loving this fall because it really does remind me of a Mexican hot chocolate, but mixed with these beautiful white florals in there to make it more fragrance-like. And it's not like gourmand coquine. It's not like that at all. That to me is like a melted chocolate bar. This is a little bit more, maybe closer to like a spiced tonka imperial, something like that, where you get this creamy, smooth, cocoa-like feeling um, with that dash of cardamom and then the white florals. It's really amazing. It really needs to be talked about more, Coco Aztec. If you like this content and you wanna see more, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button. It really does help me tremendously. It helps my channel. I do appreciate it. Okay, I need to talk about the new House of Sillage drop. This is magnificent. And I literally just got this last night, wore it, was like enamored with it the whole afternoon and night and just, oh my gosh. Okay, so with the Disney collection, we did have, and it's really funny because I did notice they renamed this. This was the House of Sillage times Disney is what this was. And then it became this collection. This got changed to Mickey recently. I noticed it when I looked it up for some notes and I was like, this wasn't called Mickey Mouse before. So you had to know something was up their sleeve. I didn't catch it though. So this is now the Mickey perfume. So they now have the mini. They just launched this at the D23 convention for Disney. I am over the moon. Oh my goodness. How cute is this, by the way, with the red bow added for Mini? Otherwise, it is the same bottle as the Mickey with the addition of that red bow, which makes sense in the same collector's bottle box. It does have the 100. I would imagine it has even more Swarovski crystals than Mickey because you have them also in the bow here. We did already have the Mini bow for the lipstick case. This was already out. Along with, we had the two matte palettes, the face palette and then the eyeshadow palette is out. The lipstick, you know, is one of my favorites in Playful, Playfully Nude. The red, you know, I'm not a big red lipstick person, but the Playfully Nude, which I'm actually wearing right now, is phenomenal for me, like a mauve nude. And then they have a lip gloss. They had all this out already. 
So they added the mini. I'll tell you about the notes in a second. They added a Disney candle. Now, at first I thought this was in the mini fragrance. So I lit this yesterday. You can see I've already burned it. You can see how nice and smooth it burns too. They always burn so evenly. I'm seriously impressed with their fragrances. Whenever they go on sale, I buy backups because the quality is phenomenal. Like I have a lot of candles from a lot of different places. I have a candle obsession. And I can say a lot of perfume houses, I don't talk about them because I really don't like them at all. Like zero throw, zero even, melt in just warm weather, like just some really horrible fragrances out there that I just prefer to not mention. Um, I do have a lot from Bath & Body Works, which have great throw and longevity and all that. They do have a little bit of this artificial kind of scent to them where these smell so natural and fill the room and are just amazing, amazing. And this one is actually of the Mickey fragrance, not the mini fragrance. So it is more of that um, Alang Ylang coconut, citrus, I think bergamot in there kind of fragrance. Then they have a discovery kit. If you haven't tried any of them yet, you can get these two by 1.8 ml, a mini and a Mickey. You can get that little discovery kit. Or if you wanna invest a little more, they have the 8 ml. You can get this travel kit. How adorable is this? Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful in the black enamel with Swarovski crystals and the Disney. And then you get one of Mickey and one of Minnie. I think this is amazing, 8 ml. For a lot of us, 8 ml is plenty. We have so many perfumes that we can't really go through 100 ml or for House of Siage, it's 75 ml, that getting the eight each is probably adequate. But if you do wanna indulge, I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorites. I know I keep saying that, but they have seriously been slaying it this year. Like all of their releases, I'm just, blown away with. Like they are really killing it. This one, if you like gourmands, this is for you. If you like, say, um, by Byron, the Chronic Rouge, you're going to like this. Or if you like um, Zerjoff Le Capital, but without the leather that's in there, because this has that caramel and raspberries in there. So you get that similar raspberry, like berries and caramel kind of thing going on. But what's different here is you have marshmallow fluff in there. And I, I don't say marshmallow, I say marshmallow fluff because it really reminds me of that cream fluff. It is not a, um, it is not a foggy fragrance. It's actually more crisp, the kind of the way the Chronic Rouge is, the way those fragrances are, is really how this is. It's not foggy like love, don't be shy. It doesn't give you that hazy kind of feeling. There's no benzoin in here. So this one is top notes of marshmallow and creamy notes in a heart of raspberry, caramel, and coconut in a base of vanilla musk cedarwood. So if you like, I've said it before, oh, there are my dogs when I come in this room. I've said it before that if you like the base that's in Zerjok, kind of its DNA of that vanilla musk, House of Siage has a certain similarity, but different. They have their own identity. But if you like Zerjoffs, you would very likely like House of Siege just for that common denominator DNA. They have a different kind of vanilla musk base in a lot of their fragrances. And this one is cedar, so it gives it like a, a vanilla musk woody, like a vanilla woody musk. It's so good. This one stays sweet. You get that berries and caramel pretty much through the life of this, and it's so darn good, but you have that creaminess going on also. Oh my goodness, I love this. It doesn't scream at you, but it's also not as timid as Mickey. Like Mickey is soft, kind of like um, Mesa Margell's Beach Walk is kind of soft and ethereal, kind of like, this is not. This is a lot stronger. This is strong like like the Chronic Rouge. I really think if you like that, you like this, even though they're different. They're just, um, there's similarities to them that I think you would like it. I just, I'm over the moon with this one. They killed it. They killed it. You get caramel, berries, and creaminess. It's not whipped cream. Like there's whipped cream in that one. This is not whipped cream. It is marshmallow, like marshmallow fluff and coconut. It's just, it's just, phenomenal if you like gourmands. If you like gourmands, you need this one. 
So that's the mini. The next one that I have here that I always, like I had been waiting for whether to cool off to use this. Like, huh, this is by Happy Land. Now I know they just launched the Hinterland, which is amazing for the fall also, but I literally been waiting for weather to cool off because I absolutely love these, but I got them like late spring where it was a little too warm to be craving them. And it's Ohm for the holidays and the Ohm for the holidays decaf. Now, even though it's Ohm, H-O-M-M-E, he's just playing with the whole home for the holidays, but I got to tell you, these gourmands are phenomenal. Obviously the decaf is without the coffee. So the Ohm for the holidays is a warm amber, Maple Absolute, Dark Coffee, Pumpkin Spice, and Essential Musk. And it literally smells like coming home for a family dinner for the holidays. There's a lot of cooking going on. There's coffee brewing because you really get a strong coffee note. Yet in the background, it's just this like Christmas cooking or Thanksgiving cooking going on. And it's just somehow very fall-like, but a very strong coffee. Like this is really primarily a coffee fragrance to me. Oh, it is so darn good. If you like gourmands, it is phenomenal. But it's it's not just coffee, even though that's a primary note in here. You really get a little bit more complexity where a lot of coffee fragrances only have coffee. I seriously love this. And with the pumpkin spice in here, it's so perfect for the fall. Now, the decaf edition is caramel, amber, maple, pumpkin spice, cinnamon, musk, coriander, orange, rose, ambergris, patchouli, labdanum, and soft spices. So it gets rid of that coffee so that it's not just this coffee screaming at you, but it's really like just that kitchen cooking smell, like the smell of a cozy home that you come home to and there's like family everywhere, candles burning, food on the stove, everyone's getting along, which that in itself can be a feat for a lot of families. It just smells so cozy and the spices are all these like cooking spices and gourmands going on and I just can't even, it gives the most positive vibes in this fragrance. He really took the best of those moments and put it in a bottle. I mean, if there's, you know, a lot of families, they go home, they dread it. There's the bickering and the whatever, and especially in this day and age, but it's like, he really took the best of times and put them in here. It's just all great memories in here. It's just so good. Such an incredible gourmand for fall and winter that I absolutely love them. And again, they're super affordable because he doesn't put them in extravagant packaging. They come like this. There's no box. They come in little sacks. So it really saves a lot of money and they're super potent. Love these. Now, what would it be fall if nobody mentioned from Nobile 1942, the La Danza de la Labelule. I always have to look at it in order to pronounce it. It is, basically means dancing of the dragonflies. This one is the epitome of like warm apple pie with whipped cream. It's literally what it smells like. It's so incredibly delicious and you really get that like whipped cream melting over the hot dessert kind of a thing. It's just, it's a classic. You know, a lot of influencers have talked about this for a couple years now for a reason. You know, just more and more people catch on to it. I do just have this travel size. I've had a couple of decants like this that I've done back to back. Um, and that just kind of holds me over instead of a whole bottle. It works for me. Love this one and it wouldn't be fall without it. Next up, I have an Oli here that I've had for a while, and it's by Fragrance Dubois, and it's Oud Orange Intense. Now, I have the Itty Bitty Bottle. I've seen people say I think the prices went up, but it's really, they have lots of different sizes. Um, what is this? I'd say this. I'd wager to say this is like 30 mLs or something because it's so expensive. Oh my gosh. However, super intense. Now, this macerates over time and gets darker and darker and richer and more potent. This is one that really does well macerating, but it's so beautiful. It is an oud, but it's not, they have incredibly good quality oud at Fragrance Dubois, but this really is that gourmand over the oud and the oud gives it the longevity and kind of intensity, nice like strong base to it. This is basically like a bourbon vanilla um, fruity notes. I, I think of like orangey fruits. Hence, this is meant to evoke the image of the color orange. 
And he does that with these beautiful orangey fruits and this bourbon vanilla with almost like lactonic coconut kind of vibe to it. It's so beautiful. I, oh, I love oud orange intense this time of year. It's a really rich, decadent, gorgeous kind of fragrance that you can use in the fall time when it's cooler and you can use it when you're more dressed up and it really kind of just polishes you off to use this fragrance. One more. I have by this new house that I'm absolutely in love with, and it is by Soradora Mandorle. I did just I did just review this one in a recent video, but I had to mention again because it is so phenomenal. So, so phenomenal. Oh my goodness. So this is an Italian almond is what the title is, and it's definitely a strong almond kind of fragrance. This is so good. So this is like almond and creamy, musky. There's a slight bed of a creamy little suede-like in there, but don't fret if you're not a big leather suede kind of person because it really kind of blends in with like the tonka bean and the musks and all of that. It just gives a little bit of bite to it, but it's so darn good. There's a little bit of booziness in there with that almond and vanilla. There's caramel and cocoa in there, really just blended so, so well that it's not these sharp different notes. It really gives this creamy, fluffy kind of cozy cashmere blanket vibe around you. It's such a cozy gourmand. This is phenomenal. Absolutely love Mondorley. I had to mention it again because I'm so over the moon with this house. I really am. I'll definitely be picking up some more. Um, and I think I have a code for this too. I'll put it down below. I think it's Greta 10 to save you 10% off too, which is really nice. Love, loving this one. Next up, we have the new release by Mikolev, Soleil Passion. Ooh, this one is primarily pomegranate. So it's definitely a fruity fragrance. It's a fruity floral, but a very delicate floral. So it comes with a little bracelet on it. This one is, you've got a bunch of fruits that it opens with, like fresh pomegranate and strawberries and a little bit of citrus in there too, mandarin. And then you get these nice watery florals. You have lily of the valley, rose, and water lily. So definitely very delicate, watery, um, light florals in there in a base of a sandalwood musk with a little bit of ambergris. But it's really this beautiful fruity fragrance. The pomegranate really stands out in this fragrance. And then you have a little bit of like watery florals kind of supporting it, giving it this light water, fruity floral kind of thing. But you have that base that actually gives a really nice longevity on this. I'm absolutely loving this. This is again, a really nice, strong fruity fragrance that I'm over the moon with this one as well. And these are definitely among my fragrances as a gourmand lover that I'm loving for this fall. Let me know some that you're pulling out and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.